question 17 uh, write 174,000 in standard form. In the standard form we will write down decimal here uh, and then 10 raised to power something. So, you can see decimal is here we are shifting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So, it is 10 raised to power 5. So, final answer remember to write your answer in the space provided. Okay. Now, number 18 the diagram shows a right angle triangle we have this right angle triangle calculate the value of x that means we are looking for angle x. So, as this is x so this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse right. So, we have the formula that we use Soka Toa now see which one out of this goes uh, we are we have adjacent adjacent is here and we have hypotenuse right. So, we can use cosine right. So, then means cos x is equal to opposite uh, adjacent at which is 8.5 and hypotenuse is 14. So, this is uh, um, equal to 0 0.6071. So, x is cos inverse 0 0.6071 just take the value. So, this is 52.6 degrees. So, x is 52.6 degrees. Number 19 uh, without using calculator uh, work out this we have 2 1 over 4 divided by 1 7 over 8. So, when you break this uh, a 4 times to 8 8 plus 1 it is 9 9 over 4 divided by 8 times 1 8 plus 7 15 over 8 right. So, this is 9 over 4 times 8 over 15. So, 4 times 2 so 3 times 3 and 3 times 5. So, we have 6 over 5. So, this is 1 1 over 5. Now, number 20 expand and simplify. So, expanding bracket that means x is going to multiply everything whatever is in there. So, it is x squared minus 7 x then 4 is going to multiply that is negative 4 x negative and negative is positive 28. So, x squared minus 11 x combining the like terms. So, then our final answer is x squared minus 11 x plus 28. Number 21 find the value of x 5 raised to power 7 and uh, x then equals to 3 you see uh, we will use the exponent law here whenever there is a division sign in the middle the powers are going to be subtracted. So, 7 minus x equals to 5 power 3. So, base is same so then we can equate the powers that is 7 minus x is equal to 3. So, we can write down 7 minus 3 is equal to x then x is equal to 4 right. Now, number 22 the length L meters of the piece of material is 4.5 correct to nearest 10 centimeter 4.5 meters right. So, we are looking for their lower and upper bound. So, upper bound and the lower bound. So, this is 10 centimeters. So, 10 centimeter half of centimeter uh, is going to be uh, here we have meters. So, 10 meters uh, equals to 0 0.1 uh, 10 centimeter 0 0.1 meters right. So, divide by 2 this gives us 0 0.05 right. So, we are going to add here 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 and here we are going to subtract 0 0.05. So, this gives us 4.55 upper bound which is going to go here and the lower bound is going to be 4.45 done. Now, number 23 x is a natural number uh, less than 12. So, x is a natural number less than 12 let me write down here. So, this is going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 right. Uh, S is 1, 4, 7 and T is this. So, uh, complete the Venn diagram. So, we are going to put all these wherever we it is required. So, S, S is 1, 4, 7. So, 10 is already there. 
so we am going to write down here uh, now first of all sorry uh, this is the common part of s and t let us see what is common so common is 1 here and then common is 7 so we will put 1 and 7 over here and then we will see what is left so 1 4 10 is already there so we are just going to put 4 in uh, here in s right then for t for t uh, 1 and 7 is written already so we will write down 3 uh, then we have 5 9 and 11 right uh, now what is left here so let us see 1 we have already written 1 1 is gone 2 is gone 3 is gone 4 is there 5 is there 6 is not there so 6 we are going to write down outside somewhere uh, 7 is written already 8 is already here uh, 9 is already here and 10 is there and 11 is there so that is it so we have completed the one diagram right now number 24 in a class of 30 students 13 travel to school by bus so by bus and 5 7 there are 570 students in school so this is number of students in school uh, find the expected number of students in the school who travel by bus so those who are travel there are 13 students who travel by bus from one class right out of 30 and how many will be out of 570 so this is simple you are just going to multiply and then you see so when you simplify this comes out to be 247 Now next number 25 we have a triangle here uh, you can see the diagram shows a flag post BD uh, this is BD is a flag post by two poles uh, ropes AD and CD. So these are the uh, ropes that have uh, that are holding this pole uh, ABC is a straight line this is a straight line and angle ABD is 90 this angle is 90. Uh, AD is given AB is given and angle BCD is 40. 48 <coughs> show that the height of the flag post is 13.3 so we are looking for bd now now if you see this is the this triangle abd is a right angle triangle so we can just use pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem we will have 21.2 square equals to 16.5 square plus bd square right so from here we have bd square is equal to 21.2 squared minus 16.5 squared so uh, from here you will have bd is equal to square root of this just plug in all these values in the calculator then you are going to get it is uh, 13.3 one so which is approximately 13.3 meters so hence proved we can say we have proved this one right now next part calculate the length of rope cd so now we are looking for cd now this is 13.3 so we are looking for cd uh, this one so cd if you see this is a right angle triangle this angle is 90 so we can use soka tua here so this is adjacent and this is uh, uh, opposite and this is hypotenuse so we are looking for uh, the side uh, hypotenuse we are actually looking for hypotenuse so hypotenuse and opposite hypotenuse and opposite we are going to use sine right uh, so sine 48 degree is equal to sine 48 is equal to opposite uh, over hypotenuse so 13.3 over cd 13.3 over cd so cd is equal to 13.3 over sine of 48 degree so sine of 48 this comes out to be approximately 17.89 to 3 significant figure we will write in 17.9 so final answer is 17.9 meters so that's it for this video i hope you guys understood everything if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and share it with your friends and i will eagerly wait for your comments in the comment section thank you so much guys be blessed